What's up guys, it's the Cheapster here, back with another Grubhub video. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to use the Grubhub Drivers app. So I'm gonna give you guys a full tutorial going through the app and then talking about the different steps it takes once you're actually working in the Grubhub app. So this will show you everything you need to know, whether you're just thinking about becoming a Grubhub driver or you just wonder how the process works. So first off, I'm gonna get started out by showing you guys what it's gonna look like when you get on the app. So the first thing you're gonna to come to once you log into your app is you're gonna see this taskbar where it just says ready to deliver deliver and it says tap unavailable to switch your status to start taking offers. So this is the first thing you would do is you would tap that and you would click to start taking offers if you want to turn on and go active because with Grubhub you can go active at any time. You don't need a shift to go active. And then you also see this little thing at the top that looks like a hand with a star. This is a pointless menu. It's for offers uh, that really will never be used because they always will pop up in a different way which I'll show you in a second. You'll notice there's kind of a trend in some of these things where they're just not used. I don't know why they're part of the app anyway but we'll go through all of it so the only other thing you can do from this menu is to click the three little bars here which will bring you to a page where it has a bunch of stuff down the side so we'll go ahead and start from the top so you've got my name and then my picture but you can click on view profile here most of the stuff's going to be blurred out but you can see it says legal name you can choose a name if you want to be called something else uh, your email address that's the one associated with your account that you're going to use to log in you got your phone number uh, that's really important because it's how grubhub is going to be able to contact you and how customers are going to be able to contact you and how you're going to be able to contact customers your home address pretty much just a mailing address because i've worked in a different area than my home address before so that really doesn't matter it just needs to be a good mailing address and it's going to be important probably for bank information and your 1099 which brings me to bank information and your 1099 so that's your bank information there for getting paid and then you've also got your or 1099 form which will be your tax form that'll show how much you made for each year so that's it for the edit profile then you can go into view messages here where it shows all your messages which are nothing ever it says this is where you'll find important announcements and updates from grubhub i have never found any message here ever <laughs> i don't know what that tab is for again another pointless tab that does absolutely nothing so moving on we've got uh that thing that I don't want to say on YouTube, uh, it's just a bunch of information here about you can get gear for it. So hand sanitizer, masks, they'll give you that kind of stuff for free. Uh, talks to you about social distancing, tips, all kinds of stuff like that. Support. It gives you some stuff about your city that might have differences depending upon what your city is doing with different quarantines or stuff like that. It helps you know what's going on in your area. So into scheduling here, this is where you can see all your schedules. So you don't need to have a shift, but it does help you get more orders if you do have a shift. So you can go down this and see, but I've got some shifts for Friday. You can see I've got five until 8 p.m. is what I'll be working. And I can just show you here if you hit update schedule it shows you what's available for the day so right now i could add a 6 to 7 30 shift for today which is actually tomorrow for me because it's late and then you can just scroll down and see everything else so you can see thursday is very busy there's plenty of shifts to pick up on thursday and yeah that's pretty much it you can just go down here you would check your shifts so you can go ahead and pick up anything you would want anything that you know you want to work and just as a side note here with grubhub uh, with shifts, it does usually help to have a shift. Uh, you'll get more orders if you do. If you're in an area that's really busy, a lot of times that doesn't even matter anyway. You still will get plenty of orders without a shift. Dropping shifts or picking up shifts doesn't matter too much. We'll get into that in a second because we'll talk about program level. But yeah, you can go ahead and drop and pick up whatever shifts you want as long as they're available. So going back over here now, we go back. Tasks is just what we were on at the beginning. Um, and if you scroll up here, it'll actually show you your history. I don't have any history right now because it's technically the next day. So it's not showing what I did for today, but it will show the people so you can go back and see who you delivered to. And then the next button we have is the most fun one. And that is the earnings button where you can look at what you've made. Uh, this gives you a lot of information here. So like today, let's see if we go to my day, I made $61.57 for the day. You could also click week and you can view it by the week. So 87.42 is what I made for the week so far. I haven't really worked a ton this week. So today, 61.57, let's break this down. So this shows my delivery pay was $30.86. My tips were $30.71. No Grubhub contribution, which I never have. Adjustment pay is like if there is something that they messed up or they need to add some money. Uh, so that's not something that you usually have any money there on. In the acceptance rate for the day, so 10% for the day, Bonus pay, zero dollars. Um, that's because there's no bonuses running. Uh, you can also go down, we'll talk about view earnings activity in a second, but you can cash out. 
So this usually costs, I think, 50 cents total. If you have Chase, which I do, it's just free to cash out. Um, you can do it, I think, once a day, and it's up to $500 you can cash it out. So I could cash that out right now and be in my account instantly, which is pretty awesome. If you don't do that, it'll be uh, once a week that they'll transfer the money to you. So definitely a good thing to have there. Uh, then you've got bonuses, which there are no bonuses currently running right now. Now, about that, I've never seen that say anything there. It, even when there are bonuses running, it doesn't say that there's bonuses running. So again, I don't I don't know what that's there for. It, it doesn't work right now, at least. If there are bonuses, I find out through a push notification or an email or both or not both. Sometimes just a push notification or just an email and not a push notification and an email. It's a little confusing, but you'll get something if there's a bonus running, but I can almost guarantee it won't be there. At least right now, it doesn't show up there. That's that. Then we got view earnings activity. I really do like this because you can see, look at all these rejections here. That's because the end of my day, they sent me so much bad stuff. But if you see, here's an order I did, uh, Chang'an restaurant. It was delivery pay, so it says $2.50 was my time pay, plus 0.83 was my mileage. They pay you basically nothing for mileage, but, you know, whatever. It's all about the end amount anyway. 4.83 they gave me as a bonus because I think as people don't accept the offers, they start to bump them up as they kind of go around. Plus, this was a pay where I actually had to use my card, so I think there should have been a bonus anyway. And then the tip was $6, so that ended up being $14.16, so you can see all that stuff there. Um, lots of rejections for the day. That is a lot. No wonder my, uh, thing was 10%. It was really bad today, but then, yeah, you can see it just shows everything there, um, that you need to see on what you accepted. That works very well. I think that that shows you a lot, shows you everything that you need to see. Then you can go into program level. So this will show you your program level, which is a very nice vague program level that most people are just gonna be a partner. So you can see, yeah, my program level is partner. It's based on your activity of the last 30 days before the last update. This shows you your acceptance rate. So mine is 21%, which might seem low, but I would say that's actually a lot higher than it normally is. But you need a higher acceptance rate to be into uh, different level. So you can see here, pro drivers need to have at least 85% acceptance. Premier drivers need to have at least 95% acceptance, which is crazy. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. But then you can also see attendance rates. So that's just how often you show up to your shifts that you actually schedule. Mine's 100%. I'm a straight A student there with attendance. Block drop rate. So that's how often you uh, drop your blocks that you've already scheduled and possibly during the block while you're supposed to be working it. So mine's only 1%, pretty low. So I actually could be a premier driver for both those acceptance rate is just my problem that I couldn't be a premier driver. So, and then it also tells you here what the program level means. So as a partner driver, the following options are available. I have third access to shifts on Saturday at 10 20 AM. I have third access to catering orders when available, which is never I've seen, I think one catering order in the three years I've been working Grubhub as a partner driver. So you really don't get those catering orders ever because why would the people who are above you pass those up? Cause they're usually going to be so much money. So you don't really see those, but that's your program level. So you can then go over to account and account just has lots of stuff here. So you got your personal info. A lot of that will be blacked out. That's what we already saw. Actually, that's just the profile. So that's just another tab for that. Uh, the driver card. This is the card that you're going to use for doing orders and stuff. So you'll get one sent to you in the mail if you sign up to be a driver. So this has stuff where you can get a new driver card. You can activate your card. Uh, you can view the ship shipment status of the card. Uh, and then call driver care about issues. Then you've got driver gear. So this will take you to another website where you could buy stuff and they have lots of different things that you could buy but you probably won't because it's kind of pointless to buy maybe you see something on there that's interesting or helpful to you doing orders uh delivery region though this shows you your region um so this shows the entire region that i work in which is greenville south carolina and it shows you the hot spots of what areas are supposed to be having more orders and as you can see right now we've got the west side of my town very hot the the red is a very hot hot spot and uh, my market's closed, so <laughs> not sure what that's about. I, you, that you can't even work at all right now. I don't know if that just is stuck from earlier when it closed. It just stays like that, but who knows? Like, like I said, there's a lot of things in this app that are kind of clunky or a little bit like out of place or don't work exactly right. So then you've also got app settings. So you can do your navigation preferences here and then uh, push notifications. You can have it send you notifications about anything like bonuses in your area, market updates, things like that. So you can set those. Obviously, you probably want to have them all on because why would you not want to get those notifications? App info. 
pointless stuff that you're never going to look at unless you want to look at the privacy policy for something. That's probably the only thing that really matters too much. Um, and then driver rewards. Like you can get TurboTax for 50% off, which I actually really do recommend. That's how I do my taxes. And that actually is a great perk that they offer 50% off on TurboTax. Uh, you can pay with Gas Buddy, which is something I should be doing a video on soon because I do want to kind of talk about this because I always recommend GetUpside. If you want to try GetUpside, it's a great way to save money on gas. Not sponsored by them, but I do have a referral code. You can check that down below. It's honestly like a super great way to get cash back on gas. So easy. If you don't do it, you're just missing out on money. So check that out in my description. A little plug there. Sorry. And then uh, we go to help here. Uh, this just gives you stuff like facts so you can get questions answered. I mean, pretty standard stuff there. Payments. Uh, this talks about how you're going to be paid. So it says you'll be paid an amount of delivery pay plus 100% of your tips. It talks about grow pub contribution, which is if you're delivering on a block and you make less than $10 per hour, that's my region at least. This is different depending upon what region you're in. This isn't always the same. It says that I'll receive a minimum of $10 per hour. That's awesome. Until you look below and it says you must accept 90% or more of the offers, which you saw my acceptance rate was 21%. So definitely don't do that. And actually, I think nobody ever really gets this contribution because if you accept a 90%, you're going to be accepting insane orders. But that's that's a topic for another story. So payment details. So you'll see the total before you complete the delivery so that's actually something that i really like about grubhub you get to see the complete total nothing changes unless the customer gives you more tip or adds a tip on after they're allowed to do that but i don't think they can actually lower your tip i think once you accept the offer and you as long as you pick the items up and you deliver it you'll get paid that which is something i think is really great about grubhub that it's very transparent with that that's one of the reasons i really like working for them yeah and once you complete the delivery you can see a breakdown of the delivery pay and tips um, and your pay will be deposited weekly so yeah that's the payment terms there then you've got tutorials that you can look at but I mean this is a tutorial that I'm kind of showing you here but this would show you some stuff if you do want to kind of see some mock things but I'll show you some mock things in a second that'll be better than what their tutorials even are and then you can contact your driver care about any kind of questions you're having here and then you've got the log out button where you can just log out of your account so that's a pretty good overview of how the app actually works itself just looking at it once you get on but now I'm going to show you guys what it's actually like working for a day so I'll show you some of the stuff through the app so that sound right there is a great sound because that means you're going to make money. You're going to begin to love that sound. But what you'll see here is a bar that pops down from the top and it says view. So you can click on view to see the offer. And at this point you can see the map and you can decide if that's an offer you want to take. And if you do hit accept, then the offer will be added to your tasks and you can see all the information about where to pick up and where to deliver. So we're picking up here as a trio, a brick oven cafe. So it'll show us the address, the where it is on the map, what time to pick up and some pickup instructions. You can also go over to the order so you can check out what is actually on the order for the person so here we have a pizza and a salad we're going to be picking up also from here if you need to contact the customer you can hit the phone button in the top to either call or text the customer this could be about any questions you may have about their order or if something's missing or if the restaurant is out of an item and if at any point you have any problems you can hit there's a problem on each menu so this will say things like can't marked arrived i'm running late this one also says order's not ready or order is incorrect so you might need to use those things from time to time so from this point You'll need to navigate to the restaurant so you want to hit the little navigation arrow by the map which will open your phone to whatever navigation app you chose mine is google maps and right now there is a weird issue going on with google maps where you have to just hit the reverse button up in the top twice but once you do that it'll actually load the map for some reason it won't work if you don't do that then you just drive to the restaurant once you're there, you go ahead and hit the arrived button and it will show you the person's name again and what is on the order. If you have any issues here, you can go ahead and hit there's a problem and that'll pull up the menu. Once you're there, just grab your Grubhub bag and head inside. Once you've picked up the order, go ahead and hit the got order button. You'll want to do that as soon as you get the order because it's actually when you'll get paid into your account. Then just walk back to your car with the item. Once you're back in your car, go ahead and hit the leaving button. That will pull up the information again on where you're going to be delivering. And it will show you stuff like when the original diner ETA was, when the diner placed the order, and any delivery instructions the customer has for you. So once you're ready to go, go ahead and hit the navigation button again, do the little reverse button thing again, and it will pull open the map so you can have the address ready to go. Then just go ahead and drive to the customer. Once you're at the customer's place, go ahead and hit arrived. Right now, because there's contact free deliveries, it may say stuff like just leave it, and there could be delivery instructions here. So since this was contact free, I went ahead and left it on their doorstep and then hit text the diner so I could go ahead and send them a message letting them know I left it at their door. If you have any issues here, you can hit there's a problem, 
problem if the diner is not available or something else is going on. Once you're done, go ahead and hit delivered and then swipe to complete the delivery. You'll then go back to your taskbar and it will show that you're ready to take other offers. And then you've just made money. So go into your earnings so you can check it out. So you can see we made 1376 on this order. And then we can see the breakdown of the pay by go to view earnings activity where it shows here we got 307 for our time, 125 for mileage and 408 bonus and then 536 for a tip. So another thing you might run into is situations where you have a double order like this. And when you accept it, you'll see both the orders here pop up with both pickup locations and both addresses to deliver to. You can hit map delivery route at the bottom if you wanna know what's the best route to pick up and deliver these. You also may see orders like this where say you will only need to pay, which that means you have to pay with your grub up card, but you don't have to place the order. Then you might see orders like this where you actually have to place the order and pay with your grub up card, which what you'll need to do here is call the restaurant or go to the restaurant and read off the items to them for order. Once you do that, you'll go ahead and click the I place the order button. Just make sure to get a receipt back so you can take a photo of it in the app. They won't let you click got order if you don't have the photo of the receipt. Also, in any case that you need to reject an offer, you just hit the little reject button and say what reason that you want to reject that offer. So I actually forgot to do an outro on camera, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, go ahead and do the cheapest thing you can today. Tap that like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more content about Grubhub and other gig work jobs and saving money. And I will see you guys in the next video and remember stay cheap That's cheap. you still haven't subscribed oh my god